Hey everybody, this is Tayson from Outdoor Vitals. Just wanted to shoot another quick video for you today, helping explain the quality of down as far as fill power, what that means, why you'd want to spend more money to get a little bit higher fill power, and just the overall weight to warmth ratio. So that's some of the stuff we're going to be covering. We're actually going to do some tests to try to give you visual examples of different fill powers. Um, so yeah, let's jump right in. All right, so we've got a couple different samples here of some down. This one is um, about a 500 fill power down, and this one's closer to about a 700 fill power down. And it's hard to say because this bag's so much bigger, but I guess we'll find out how they compare <laughs> in our in our in our little demonstration. But what fill power means? It's how much down it takes to fill up, or how much one ounce of down will fluff basically is what it is. So one ounce of down in a 500 fill power should fluff to 500 cubic inches of volume. And a 700 fill power should fluff to 700 cubic inches. Yep. So it's really how warm it is to how much it weighs. Right, because what, what creates the warmth is the loft factor. The more it's gonna loft up, the more volume it takes creates more air pockets, more distance between you and the cold air and where your body is in that sleeping bag or, or whatever you're using for, with the down product. So um, we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. Basically what we're going to do is we have this picture here that's going to contain the down for us. Um, when I turn this on, it's actually going to zero out the uh, picture weight. So we're, you can see there that we're at zero and zero. And I'm only going to tilt this a little bit. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the 500 fill power down, which is actually about a 50-50 ratio between down and feather. That's going to be the main differentiating factor between a higher quality down and a lower quality down, is the ratio of feathers to down. So this is about a 50-50 down to uh, feather ratio. So this, this is going to get messy. <laughs> All right, so the way that they often rate down is they actually have a machine that'll compress it, and in one minute, whatever that loft is at is what they consider the fill power. There's a few different ways to do this, but obviously some compression is needed because if you just loft this, the down isn't heavy enough to, uh, to compress itself. So what we're gonna do is I just have a very small phone case basically in this plastic bag. I'm gonna set this in here, and we're just going to let it drop down for about 10 seconds, and I'm going to put a, uh, a tape measure in the picture as well so you can see where we're at. Now slowly. <laughs> okay, so obviously as you can see, don't try this at home. It's going to get everywhere. If you've got a beard, it's going to be in your beard. Uh, <laughs> and your wife is not going to love you, so... Anyways, um, down, when there's nothing to compress it, it's really hard to tell the difference in the fill power. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to, I have a little phone case here. I'm going to drop this in there, allow the down to compress. I'm going to try to do it as evenly as possible so that we can measure how much loft it still has um, being compressed. Typically you want to time this, you know, we'll try to give it about 10 seconds as far as allowing that to, to sit in there. Um, but that's going to tell us our, our rough loft and be able to give you a visual example of that. So we've actually agitated this so it's as lofty as it's gonna stay. So here's the pre look at it. And we're sitting at about, what are we at right there? About seven and a half, eight inches. So about seven and a half, eight inches before we put this in here. So I'm gonna drop this in here slowly. And you can see it's going down, and now we're at about five and a half. Five and a half. Five and a quarter. Okay, so we lost about two inches there, a little mm -hmm. bit more than that. But you can see here, that's roughly, and I'll pull that back out, and you can see it start to loft back up. However, the bounce back effect on this is really not that impressive without getting agitated. Okay, so I expect in the, the better fill power down, 
that's going to have a better bounce back effect than this one is. Um, we'll be able to see that though. So we're going to take a cut, try to put this back in a bag. When we measured this down before, we were at like 1.2 ounces, so it's probably going to take all of the down in this. Again, this is estimated 700 fill power, fill power down. Um, so let's go ahead and attempt to get this in here without making a huge mess. Look at just the, the feathers themselves. If you look at them, they're just, you can tell that there's just so much more going every which direction instead of being kind of matted down more like a feather. That's mm -hmm. what makes it truly a down. You, you might not be able to see this, but with the initial one that we had, there's a lot of long skinny strands. That would be considered a feather. Down in and of itself looks like a fuzzball. It's circular. Uh, there's no long skinny feather portion of it and that's what's going to make the difference here. So we're sitting right at an ounce. You can see that it's already, you know, unagitated, unlofted. We're clear at the top, which is roughly yeah, 10 inches. 10 inches. So that's already three inches more loft than the other. And I, if we even agitated it, it'd be overflowing. Yeah, I can't agitate it to make it as lofty as that 500 or I'm going to overflow. So. Let's go ahead and drop this phone case back in here to give it a little bit of compression. Slowly. Yeah, I dropped it the first time. It was a big cloud of down, so. Oh, wow. That's the compression. With, and we're not really compressing it because this would compress smaller than that if we forced it to. But this is just to give you a little bit of knowledge there. So we're sitting right at about still above seven inches. So we're closer to eight inches there, which is still about three inches more of loft. So imagine this going around the outside of a sleeping bag. Because this is more lofty and has more um, property to expand, that's just more resistance, more area that's separating you from the outside cold to uh, the inside. That, that's all the insulation that's just holding in all of the heat. So let's go ahead and take this back out now. You can see it puffed up just a little bit. It's still puffing though, I can see it moving. So it is puffing up a little bit, but in reality it's going to want to puff in every direction. We're only allowing it to puff straight up. So let me just kind of touch this. You can see it growing, at least we can. Yeah, the, the bottom you can tell. I mean, the kind of bottom's had, pretty compressed. We kind of had to force it down in there anyways, so it's, we need to Needed a taller cylinder. Yeah. We may have to do this test again with a little bit bigger cylinder. But you can see here, I can't even agitate it without it expanding over. So if I was to say so myself, just from a 500 fill power to a 700 fill power, you're going from about 7 inches. Like I would say if I was allowed to loft this, we'd almost get to 12 inches as far as, as how much more loft that's going to be. Um, so yeah, I mean, down quality makes an absolutely huge difference. Um, a lot of our bags right now, the Summit Series, we're using 800 um, down fill power, which you can see this just is how 700. quality that is. Yeah, this is only 700 right here. So we're going to get another 100 square inches out of an 800 fill power. <laughs> but you can just see how soft that is as well. When you get um, the 500 fills, it's much more feathery. I don't know if you've ever slept on an old feather pillow and you get jabbed in the middle of the night but that's not that's not how it's going to be when you have a higher fill power down the other thing to consider is i mean these this is exactly the same weight you're just getting so much more cubic volume um, and so much more insulation so all right so now we decided that we really wanted to show the difference in these down qualities so we actually bumped this down if i move that off there to half of an ounce Okay, and you saw how much it lofted up when we agitated it a little bit. <coughs> Don't inhale this if you can't help it. <laughs> and um, technically, we should have masks on. <laughs> Probably right. We're gonna get some bird disease. <laughs> Mad bird disease. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you can see here that unlofted, 
Or this I mean, is half an ounce again. It's still at close to 10, nine, nine, nine yeah. inches. We're at nine inches right there with it uncompressed. Let's go ahead and drop this in slowly. So it's definitely compressing a little bit better now. So this corner, this corner is dipped down more than anywhere else. Yeah, this is the lowest corner and it's five and a quarter. Which is what the 500 was with the full with ounce. With the full ounce. Right, so right here we're at about six. So half of an ounce is literally taking up as much as a full ounce of the less quality uh, fill power. That right. is way bigger effect than I imagined. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I didn't expect it to be this dramatic. Um, anyways, yeah, things to consider. This is still only 700 to 750 fill power. And uh, so if you get an 800 fill power or not, you know, or more than that, this this would be even that much I've more heard dramatic. that anything above 800 is pretty much hard to measure because it's just total fluff at that point. <laughs> yeah. Like it's almost more marketing hype if they claim to be above 800, but I don't know if that's I could believe it. Truly so. true, but Okay, well, actually let me just pull this off really quick and we'll see if it lofts back up a little bit. There is a bounce back effect about a half an inch. Again, the bounce back isn't going to work as well in this because it's only being able to expand up the bottom stuff isn't really being able to unexpand still or expand. Moving. So I mean, even if you just that much shake it on the table and it's come up. One little poke with this though, and you're back up that much. So, anywho, that's a half an ounce, not even a full ounce of, of 700 to 750 fill uh, powered down. So we hope that this help ans helps to answer a lot of the questions that we've been getting as far as in emails, things like that. People are really confused why. Um, a bag that's rated the same degrees costs so much more. It's really because of the quality of the materials that are going into it, that weight to warmth ratio that you're getting out of your bag. So, The older I get, the more it makes sense to pay money for good gear. Buy once, cry once, and <laughs> I've learned that that's worked for me. <laughs> yep, yep. And obviously here at Outdoor Vitals, our main mission is to make gear affordable to everyone. We want to open the outdoors to everyone by selling directly to you instead of selling to a retail store where they can then uh, charge a double what we sell it to them for. So mm -hmm. um, make sure you get yourself a quality bag because you will thank yourself later. It's true. If you're, if you're a big meathead, if you love the challenge of it and you want to have an 80-pound pack, you'll sleep just as warm in a 500-fill <laughs> power bag if that's what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in. Hope you uh, understand more of what fill power is today. And uh, hop over to our website if you have any more questions, you can reach us there. So, thanks.